morning students today we are going to see question and answers of the chapter animals living and surviving this is chapter number 9 from your textbook let us immediately start so first question is mcq that is tick the correct answer and in that the first question is it is a term used when an animal sleeps for several months to protect itself from cold and what are the options hibernation respiration extinction digestion so what do you think is the correct answer the correct answer is hibernation okay so animal some animals like uh, there is moth bat bears okay uh, who sleep for several months and why do they sleep for so many months so that they can protect themselves from severe cold okay students let us see next question the next question is the natural home of an animal is called its the options are house nest habitat water so what do we call the natural home of the animal we call it as habitat okay next question terrestrial animals breathe through air holes gills lungs scales how do terrestrial animals breathe the answer is lungs okay they breathe through their lungs let us see next question monkeys are called aquatic animals aerial animals arboreal animals or amphibians animals what do we call monkeys monkeys are arboreal animals why arboreal animals because they spend most of their life on trees let us see next question question number 5 carnivorous animals have well developed dash biting teeth tearing teeth chewing teeth or grinding teeth what do they have they have well developed tearing teeth because they have to tear the flesh always and that's why they have well developed tearing teeth let us see next question adaptation helps animals to protect themselves big nose slow movement small eye or camouflage so which adaptation helps animal to protect themselves camouflage the answer is camouflage as you can see here here this is an animal okay this is a sort of chameleon but can you see how well it has camouflaged with the surrounding okay you feel as if it is a dry leaf okay so this is what we call as camouflage next mcq he is a wildlife conservationist options are sundarlal bahuguna baba amte then steve irwin sunita williams what is the correct answer the correct answer is steve irwin okay so this person over here is steve irwin okay and he was a wildlife conservationist next question true or false snake crawls on its legs true or false it is false animals that live both in water and on land are called amphibians this is also a true statement the next is animal that spend most of the time on trees are called aquatic animal is it true no it is false we just now in mcqs we saw that they are called as arboreal animals okay so they are not called aquatic animals so the statement is false then a giraffe is an omnivore is it true or false it is a false statement okay it is a purely herbivore animal then fifth question animals that live on or inside the body of other animals are called parasite now this is a true statement okay animals that live on or inside the body of other animals are called parasites complete the table with suitable statements and what are the statements under terrestrial and movement you will see legs that move on land then under amphibian and breathing organs you will see moist skin and lungs to breathe on land so this is what the information is given so accordingly we have to fill the table so let us fill the table one by one so in the terrestrial animals breathing organ lungs to breathe on the land and examples you can write human and tiger then aquatic animals you can write fins to move in water gills to breathe in water and fishes crabs can be the example then amphibians movement limbs to move in water and on land breathing organ already given examples frogs and toads okay then aerial animals you will write feathers to move in air then lungs to breathe and crows and eagles can be the example of aerial animals then lastly arboreal animals you will write movement 
claws and broad hip girdles to climb in breathing organs you can write lungs to breathe examples you can write monkeys flying squirrels etc okay so these are the information that you need to fill in the table then comes the short answers what is adaptation here you will write the process of changing to suit the surrounding is called adaptation how do animals living in cold regions keep themselves warm here you will write animals have a variety of different mechanisms to keep themselves warm then you will mention the example blubber or fat and fur keep aquatic animals warm third question what are arboreal animals animals that spend most of the time on trees are called arboreal animals so you can underline this arboreal animals why do most herbivores have long and strong legs here you write most herbivores have long and strong legs so that they can travel long distances in search for food then comes answer these questions the frog is an amphibian how is it adapted to live on land and in water here you will write frogs have a moist skin that helps them to breathe in water and also have lungs that helps them to breathe on land thus it is adapted to live on land as well as in water since they have moist skin which they can use to breathe in water and also lungs that can help them to breathe on land it is adapted to live both on land and water and so it is an amphibian animal why do aerial animals have light bodies obviously animals which fly have a light body okay because of light bones and feathers it helps them to stay in air for long time okay how do they have light bodies because of the light bones and feathers okay actually they have this air sacs in the bones okay and because of this air sacs the weight of the bone becomes less also they have feathers which is a very lightweight material that's why these animals aerial animals have light bodies okay then third question what are different ways by which animals protect themselves okay now answer to this question you can write as follows some animals have very strong legs and are able to run very fast for example deer huge sizes of some animals are enough to scare away their enemies for example elephants okay they have a huge size and because of that huge size they can scare away the animals some animal body color merge or blends with the surrounding it is called as a camouflage this makes it very difficult for enemy to spot them for example zebras chameleons etc okay this is how animals protect themselves the last question is how do animals like fish elephant leaf insect protect themselves fishes move fast enough to escape from their enemies elephants with the huge size scares away their enemies whereas leaf insects with their body color merge or blends with the surrounding okay which is called as a camouflage which makes it very difficult for the enemy to spot them okay so this is how the animals like fish elephant and leaf insect protect themselves well students if you have any questions feel free to ask you can put your questions in comment box thank you for attending this session see you during next session with a new topic until then take care bye bye